one of the ways that they were able to feed us this was through we all need to be together we are being depressed and black um um in order for for this mentality of for us to want to fight for it or for us to try to find ownership in it then uh uh it you know what i mean then then white supremacy has to be true you got to understand that black was birthed out of white supremacy and so this white supremacy that they gave us here they told us about this white supremacy which comes with an oppression which comes with this white man we are inferior to him all of these things you accept when you accept black all of these things were were were, were uh, um uh flies under the black boundary and uh you know a lot of our people in this day with the black revolutionary movements um they want us all to come together out of that concept really came from a pan-african concept we have to uh acknowledge that first and the pan-africans are the colonizers and see when we do this black thing one of the problems that the energy are saying is we don't want to stop at 1870 because then we erase all of the colonizers because there were black colonizers but through the black experience we've been fed a story of white people uh superior people brought us here to be in an inferior position and in 1870 we were able to start being listed or start to be added into this system and so um right here free black slave master south carolina 1790 to 1860 we missed this if we <laughs> if we start the clock at 1870 1870 we missed this because from 1790 to 1860 just in south carolina nigga, we got a census of niggas owning niggas of niggas being the oppressor so this ready for us to come together on the black and unite to go against white supremacy well damn nigga, what about the black supremacy because see in the indian game bcu way we understand that it was black people who had a hand in this white supremacy. There's no such thing as white supremacy without the participation of these black people. Oh, uh, William Edison Jr. It wasn't a black, you know, out of all of this oppression and all they talk, they tell us it was it was a black man. A black man who was the most wealthiest and who owned the most slaves. Even nigga, uh, up to 1860, nigga, uh, during, the, during the Civil War times and all of this, they were the only niggas who were still running the same program. So they say, should we do black or Indian? We bring black in and then we stay in bed with the colonizer. It's no different than uh, uh, this shit here is like having Benjamin Crump on the case. Nigga, we already lost. Why? Because we got the collar. Why you think the uh, all these pastors are always on the scene? These civil rights pastors are always first on the scene when when an unarmed kid or something like this here get killed. They're always there. Why? Because they're working with them and they're there to make sure that this, that the game continues. 